What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronic. So I'm gonna be talking about how to make money with the M1 Finance app. All right, so M1 Finance is a robo-advisor with a twist. They actually let you choose your own investments. So I'll explain more about that in just a second, but I wanna just say that any of these investment apps that you, you, know, you find online, the trick is to just get started with them because once you get started, you can start putting money into them on like a consistent basis and then you can watch your money grow. Okay, anyways, as I'm talking about M1 Finance, I'll have a link down there if you wanna check them out or just see our full review on them and I'm gonna basically explain how it works. Um, I'm also gonna have Robinhood. I wanted to pull them up real quick too to show you that you know, I actively do you know, trade and uh, you know, buy stocks on my phone. Right now I've got literally a little bit more than I want in Robinhood, almost 10,000. But um, anyways, Robinhood I'll talk about in a second. We're gonna get into M1 Finance. Now, uh, the reason that uh, you know, I you know, really like M1 Finance is because they're good if you're a beginner, but they're also you know, good if you have some experience and they kind of have their own unique way of doing things. So anyways, um, you know, I've been a member now on M1 Finance for probably somewhere around a year and a half, maybe two years. Um, I took my money out of here uh, you know, recently, but I'm probably gonna put more money back in it. But I'm just gonna explain how this app works. It's really cool, it's really unique. Um, and the way they have things set up here is that um, you basically create your own pie. So you can choose your own investments, but after you've chosen them, they manage them for you. It's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna you know, show you basically, this is a pie that I kind of just set up real quick, but it's got Microsoft in it, Chase, and then Amazon. Now, the way I would do this, and this is how I've done it in the past, I would choose 10 different investments, put $1,000 in the app, and then split them up to be 10%. Um, so it equals 100%, which I'll show you in a second here. But anyways, let's uh, you know uh, edit our pie so we can um, you know add something else in here. So anyways, we're gonna add. Uh, let's see what comes up here. I don't think I have. Uh, or let, I don't think Facebook's in there. Let's let's add Facebook into our pie. Okay, cool. So I just added a new piece into this pie. Um, and you can see right now it just pulled up that I'm a little bit over 100%. So I have to adjust in order to make this even. So basically what you can do on here is, uh, you know, let's say that you had, uh, we'll just do four um, as an example here. Um, you could do 25% ownership of each one to equal 100 on here, or you can kind of split it up and then you would save it. And then basically M1 Finance would figure out how that would work and they're gonna like put fractional shares of each one of these companies in your account. Now the cool thing here, um, that I got to tell you is that you can create as many pies as you want. So, uh, you know, if you had um, $2,000 and you wanted to do two pies with, you know, 10 different stocks in each pie, you could do that. You could have like a technology pie um, or, you know, something like that. You could do like a banking pie or something like that. And then, uh, you know, you'd basically have a couple different pies. It is cool. I mean, this is a really cool app. Um, you know, like I said, it's a robo advisor, so they manage everything for you, but you get to choose your own investments. That is the twist on it. Um, and they also have some other features on here that they've added. Um, you know, you can actually borrow money on here. They don't even charge you anything for quite a while. You can research different stocks on here. So, I mean, a lot of cool features within this app. But I gotta tell you, you know, the reason that I like it is because it's really just got a unique twist. Um, on investing it kind of just lets you buy like fractional shares of companies okay now I'm gonna pull up Robinhood now Robinhood the thing about Robinhood is that if you want to you know do trading on Robinhood you know you have to have some experience you know I've been trading stocks for you know a long time uh, probably getting close to like 15 years now so um, it's a lot riskier when you're you know using an app like Robinhood um, as opposed to M1 Finance, you can kind of split things up and, uh, you know, even though um, Robinhood, you know, you're going to be choosing your own investments, you know, it's it's a lot different. It, it's just a lot different. You need more experience if you're going to do some stock trading on Robinhood. But I think M1 Finance is really cool. I think that, um, you know, most people should check them out. And, uh, you know, I like I said, I would do the $1,000 deposit on there, choose 10 different investments, put them all at 10%, and then... Uh, get a feel for the app. It, it is really cool and it just lets you buy fractional shares and you know they take care of everything for you after you know that. So anyways, the way to make money with M1 Finance, uh, the M1 Finance app is really to, to just get started. I mean, you just gotta get started. You can start putting recurring deposits in there, but you know, literally get that first one in there so you can start investing some money on the app and uh, 
you know, that is it guys. So um, I'll have a link down there if you want to check out our full review on them um, or just to sign up, you can do that as well. If you have any questions about using that app in general, just message me below. Like I said, uh, you know, I've had it for somewhere between a year and a half, two years, so I know how to use it. And uh, you know, if you have not subscribed to us yet, I'd appreciate it if you did subscribe. Thanks for watching guys and we will see y'all later.